Kel, welcome to our garden. How are you feeling? Yeah, really happy to be to be here. Uh, you know, did my first session this morning. Met all the lads, coach and staff. Everyone seems great, so can't wait to get fully sorted. Yeah. I understand that you uh, travelled down last night, but before training this morning. Tell us a little bit about how the move came about for you. Yeah, um, it was just you know, in the off season. Uh, Max speaking to my agent and Shola, the loan coordinator from Newcastle, just sort of mentioned it and you know, when I heard that Plymouth were interested looking into them and, you know, the gaffer's sort of style of play and playing the three at the back, um, you know, excited me and then, you know, when I went to York, um, with Newcastle's first team for pre season and then got told, you know, Plymouth really want you to want to play in a game on Tuesday against Millsborough, so I thought, yeah, why not, let's go do it and uh, I'm glad I'm here, yeah. It's been um been quite an off season for you. I mean, you came back from League Two on loan. We'll talk about that in a minute. But then you were pretty much straight into the Newcastle first team squad. Yeah. You were on the bench with two games to go, and then you made your Premier League debut, uh, yeah. the last game of the season. Then for pre-season, you kind of you've been in and around the first team again, and, and I saw that um, the Newcastle captain Lascelles had spoken very highly of you uh, in training. Was it a difficult decision for you to sort of step away from that? And, and playing in and around the first team at Newcastle to to play regular League One football. Yeah, I mean, you know, the gaffer spoke to me there um, and just said he wanted me, you know, keep going with the momentum from last season, playing week in week out. I think, you know, first time being in a men's dressing room, playing for three points on a Saturday in midweek. It, you know, you want to keep that feeling going. So he spoke with me and he told me sort of why and completely understand it. And I, you know, I wanted to keep playing games. Um, and you know the cells saying you know like all the good things you've saying about me you know it's great here but I don't take it too literally because I want to be I want to keep improving I want to keep getting better one game doesn't really you know define a career so I think I want to come here play more games on my belt learn with the gaffer you know I'm going to learn a lot on the standards of play being in a higher league um, I think I'm ready ready to improve I'm ready for this next step in my career yeah aside from um the, the kind of lure of playing regular football. What attracted you to, I assume you had other offers, what attracted you to coming to Argyle over there? Obviously? Yeah, I mean, you know, I could have went somewhere clo a bit closer to home, but I've decided to come to Argyle because, you know, like I said, just mentioned, you know, the gaffer style of play, you know, the fan base of the club. And, you know, I can't wait when all the fans are allowed to be back in the stadium and I can, you know, meet the, meet the Green Army. Um, just play at the stadium, it's a brilliant stadium, the facilities are great. So um to come here and just play games and improve, yeah. You um you spent last season on loan at two League Two clubs but you, you never actually played against us no. for either. You no. started at Stevenage and then went to Mansfield by the end. Uh, looking at your kind of your season stats, you played anywhere from centre back to uh, one uh, game you played up front. Um, yeah. You were telling us uh, earlier off camera that you, you were actually a striker until you were you were 18. Yeah. But what, what would you consider now your kind of best position and, and, and what do you bring to the team? Um, yeah, I would say my best position is centre back. You know, I've played there majority now for you know two full seasons. Um, I feel like you playing high up the pitch when I was younger it's helped me massively playing in defence. Um, so on the ball, I would bring you know comfortable on the ball, stepping in with it range of passing and then defensively I'm always learning um, always you know speaking you know players at Newcastle to the manager just trying to improve all the time because I feel like I want to because it's a you know relatively new position like the late transition at 18 but um, you know with my size and presence and aerial ability you know I sort of thought it was a great opportunity for me and you know a lot of good opportunities have came from it so I'm just keeping keep momentum going. You, uh, you've obviously only had one training session, so this might be a little bit early for you, but have you had an opportunity to speak to the manager about your kind of goals for the season, what you want to achieve while you're here? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the goals for the season is to win football games. I think, you know, that's the main thing. You know, if you come in as a defender, win football games, keep clean sheets, you know, you're not going far wrong. So that is, that's my goals, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be happy with them, yeah. I think we all win. Thanks for chatting to us, Kevin. Yeah, OK, brilliant. Thank you.